Hello, welcome to the vlog. So today we are at Chessington World of Adventures for a very special event. Yeah, well, what are we doing? What are we up to? Today we're going on a hard hat construction tour of the new World of Jumanji area, which is a very exciting. Very exciting. So World of Jumanji, if you didn't know, brand new area here. It contains uh, Mandrel Mayhem, which is a b and shuttle wing coaster. The first ever shuttle, so coast, cool. shuttle yeah. coaster that b and have ever done. Um, plus two flat rides. So yeah, we're gonna get led around. John Burton's gonna take us around with a big group of us. Um, and yeah, get more, more information about it. So we're just here at the Safari Hotel. So yeah, let's jump in. Oh, I'm so excited to see it all in person. Yeah, same. <laughs> so here we go. It's got a high vis on. Oh yes, chess and turns. It's actually all branded up as well, isn't it? No, let's have a look at that. Have a proper look at that. Looks good, doesn't it? Very cool. So just waiting for our hard hats now. And super excited. Okay, we've got that on now. Oh, what I'm most looking forward to is seeing how big that Jaguar is in person because yeah. I've only seen it on pictures obviously so and hopefully it's testing yeah we've, it was testing this morning so yeah. we may see it going around which is going to be awesome so we are on our way to the, world the site of it's got officially announced it's going to be opening on the 15th of May yeah um, it is awesome yeah not only they've got this coaster, but they've also got a Miami. Yeah, and I'm we love a Miami, don't we? Yeah. And that ostrich stampede as well. Yeah, yeah. It looks really cool. It's I'm, very I'm intrigued cool. to see how big the area is actually. Once yeah. You get in this see. is like we haven't even seen it from the outside yet, have we? No, so. not seen anything in person. Only what's been online. So it's going to be very exciting. Very exciting. Yeah, that one up there. Wow, look at that. But yeah, this is literally the first time seeing this inversion. <laughs> this feels so weird. So it's like literally a construction, still a construction site. I'm in that right over the entrance as well. That it's wall. such an impressive entrance. Awesome. Can't see, can't wait to see what goes in when that's all completed as well. Yeah, it's going to be some epic signage or something there, the entrance way in. Hi everyone! Um, before we head into Lodge Manji, the main thing is you're wearing steel toe cap boots. Um, as you've seen from the visuals uh, that have been online, this will be our new entrance portal to our uh, new world of Jumanji, so I know it's still frame at the moment. Um, it will end up having the world of in big 3D letters just here uh, and of course you'll have the iconic jungle drums playing as you enter into that world which you imagine yeah. as well and one key thing here is that we really wanted to make a really exciting really thrilling entrance portal into the land which is exactly why we put our inversion right here because we know that all our guests this is our key point where we know you get that kind of airtime mode guests are going to be screaming and you have the sounds of mandrel monkeys as well so this is going to be our really iconic uh, money shot that you walk through and of course we've got our sight line straight down to the Jaguar which is that big huge Jaguar uh, that's iconic from the film and the roller coaster wraps all the way around. Um, so yeah, should we head in? Head on in. Cool. cool. Quite on. We get all coloured surface treatments throughout the land uh, that will bring it to life. Um, and of course there's various pathways you can navigate through the world of Jumanji. So you can either follow the main kind of archery through the land which takes you all the way around through down to the bazaar or you could enter down into Ostrich Stampede just to our right over here and there's also our F&B truck. Uh, fun thing with this F&B truck, you'll notice this truck uh, looks like it's kind of tipped off the road here and everything in the land has a story behind why we've done that. So just here, this truck was actually the Jumanji Food Supply Company heading towards the bazaar to drop off some food supplies. However, the mandrels, they are pretty notorious and they've actually attacked the, uh, the food truck and ravaged it and opened it up. So as you'll see from the other side, uh, we've actually had it where it looks like it's all kind of ripped open by the uh, mandrel monkeys. And there'll be things like pattern impressed flooring of their feet in the ground to help tell that story. Yeah, this is going to be like um, kind of like a maze type of deal. Oh cool, I guess it looks when so it, good. When it gets all like overgrown and stuff. You can see that nice logo over there, World of Jumanji. There's the station over there in the background. And that 55 foot massive statue, which 
Jaguar. It's impressive, isn't it? Really? <laughs> it's so good. The closer you get to it. Yeah. Is that how you look around too? So this is our first of our small round rides, which is Ostrich Stampede, um, an SPF uh, jump around ride. Um, so this ride here is inspired by the June scene from the film, if you have seen the new films. And I did in that you've kind of swept up within the Ostrich Stampede. Um, as you'll see, the heads are currently covered up to protect them, but they will be, they look like the ostriches from the films, all bespokely made based on the uh, franchise. All of this has a very kind of June-like aesthetic. You've seen it, it looks like June buggies, it's kind of very rustic. So um, all this is, looks a bit like a junkyard theme when it's done with ostrich feathers everywhere. And all these walls, you will not see breeze block walls, they will all be kind of carved um, to look like uh, rockwork and sandstone. So all that gets um, thematically tied into it as well. Fun thing with this area as well that I know some of you guys probably might have already spotted. Um, as part of our kind of uh, recycling and sustainability piece, we do like to reutilize certain uh, things from other parks, attractions, so we don't just put them in the junk. And so the cabin at the front was something we used from Ripsaw uh, from Alton Towers originally um, that we reutilize as part of our uh, design piece. Another fun thing about uh, each of the rides, and I'll start with this one, is each ride will have synchronised music that goes alongside of it to help uh, really help uh, like amplify that guest experience. So each one has a bespoke score that's been worked with with Sony uh, for the ride, inspired by the films, as well as BGM tracks that will kind of fade in and out when the rides are all, all active. It's so impressive to see how close, isn't it? <laughs> You want a selfie? Yeah. <laughs> you said all the speakers will be covered up and hidden in the growth and stuff. Yeah. And these guys are from the original Jumanji. Yeah, they were. They're the pieces, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, from the actual <laughs> So you can see we've got some of the pieces from the original Jumanji there. So cool. I definitely recognise this elephant one. And there we go. Just trying to imagine it now with all the foliage everywhere and stuff. It's going to be so good. Let's just see some of the detail that's going on in them buildings, it's really cool. Oh yeah, look at it, it says there's going to be wood above that. Yeah. The rooftop of the station as well. Yeah. Half done, isn't it? Yeah. There's the Miami. I just love how the two flat rides, especially that one, it's got the coaster going right the way around it, yeah. so like, you'll be stampeding with the ostriches as the mandrels are flying around. So yeah, cool. it's going to be really cool. I think it's just going to have some amazing views. I really wish, I hope the coaster goes around. There yeah, I want to see it. Yeah, they're having a look now, I've seen it's testing. So we're about to go into the station now. We tried to make it feel like a really kind of closed in, real uh, kind of bizarre environment with all theming that really makes it feel like there's lots of shops. But what you can do here is various games are all tied in completely thematically uh, linked to the films. Um, so we have like a mosquito uh, bash uh, game and you can test your strength to see if you're as strong as Dr. Bravestone within the land as well. Um, so there's various games um, within there. And then what will be around the corner in the right, that's where we have your collection for your photograph um, and retail experience, um, of course, is after the ride, uh, Mantle Mayhem. And as we walk down, you'll see in a minute, we've also then got our uh, third small flat ride, which is uh, Mamba Strike. Again, that's the yeah, um, top dancer. Uh, right, theme to the iconic scene of the Mamba in the film. And we're still working on the Mamba, so the Mamba, it, that's not the final colour or anything of the Mamba, it will be much more realistic looking uh, than the one we've got here um, for it. And again, synchronised music um, and content for that as well. So 
before I head down to the Mamba. We'll really cool. This looks like it. I love paths where you got like uh, just like really like buildings each side and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Feels like you're probably exploring then, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's so cool trying to imagine what it's going to look like yeah. when it's fully finished. Because then we'll this see is it. bare construction right now. Yeah, and then we'll see it. We'll be like, oh, remember when it was here? And just all construction. Oh my god, don't stand on that. So here's like a, here's a uh, closer look of that, that building where they're doing to it. So all well, that's going to look like wood. It's all painted up. So here's a closer look at the um, SBF Fieser top dancer. Oh, here it comes. Cool, isn't it? Just being in the middle so of it cool. all. Like, it's it so around. nice how it just goes around. I the actually whole love land. the fact that you, you see it go one way and then you're yeah. like, come back the other way. And it properly swoops around the area, doesn't it? Yeah. One more time. One more time. <laughs> Wait, go over here. Wait, like it. Very graceful, isn't it? Really? Yeah, it's so smooth. <laughs> it's very different. I love the start of it though. It's a like a loop spike yeah. back in. A really cool way to start the ride. It goes a lot further up that first spike than yeah, I originally thought really, it was going to be. Really curved as well. Yeah. It's not even just like a spike that goes up. It yeah. All round and then down. Exactly. Yeah. Breeze through. <laughs> it's a tight cue line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is it. Cue jumper. <laughs> the other side of the uh... There's a mandrel! <laughs> oh. oh, that's freaking cool. Oh, look at him! Yeah. 
out the back of the station now. And gather in here. So yeah, we've just come back from the tour. Really good, weren't it? Yeah, it was so cool. Absolutely loved seeing that area. Yeah. And even though like it's not finished yet, all the rides are in, but they're do still doing loads of construction work, you can really see how it's all coming yeah. together. Kind of imagine what the land's going to look like when it's all done. And yeah. Very, very awesome to see. It was just amazing to be given like, that opportunity to go around the con like the construction site, really, and then obviously being given a tour by John Burton. Yeah, yeah, it was just so amazing, cool. weren't yeah, it? Yeah, telling really? us little stories about the different theming bits yeah. and stuff. Really cool. So thank you so much for inviting us, Chessington. Yeah. Awesome. One of the most impressive things to begin with is just going through that, uh, what will be the portal of the inversion going to the top. Yeah, That's yeah. like mega impressive. And the fact that they thought through that to be like, okay, how do you want the guests to it, like experience entering this park and then seeing that is really, really yeah, cool. Yeah, if you've got the inversion right above yeah. and then you've got the Jaguar like right down the, the sight line, haven't you? Yeah. So cool. And I think like once obviously this just loads and more kind of planting and, and stuff gone in mm -hmm. um, it's just gonna make it feel like way more immersive as well yeah. um, but something that just really stood out to me was like going inside the station um, obviously it looks like a big building but once you get in there it's mm -hmm. absolutely huge it's, and the sound of the yeah. launch once you're in there as well reverberating and yeah. it's so cool it was just so so good but um, yeah what else what else did you enjoy seeing uh, I think for me it's the way the coaster wraps around the whole land yeah. as well. I absolutely love that. So when you stood in the middle and you can see it going round and then it goes back the same way, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. It really kind of feels like it's all together as one mm. area, doesn't it, rather than rides separated. Yeah, a hundred percent. But yeah. I just can't wait to see it all finished now. It's gonna look incredible. It's just gonna be so cool. But yeah, thank you so much to Chessington for inviting us along yeah, to see this. I honestly feel very, very very privileged to be able to see that um, and experience it. But yeah, thanks so much. And thanks to John Burton, obviously, for- Yeah, talking us through it all, amazing. Talk, taking us around. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you like us, please give us a subscribe. So yeah, from me, it is bye. From Joe, it is- Jumanji. <laughs>